Hello, today I am going to talk about the radix sort. If you are a computer science student, you've probably come across uh, several common uh, sorting algorithms already. And uh, this one's a cool one, uh, because it's generally more efficient uh, for large arrays uh, where the numbers are all relatively uh, small com in comparison to the size of the array. And it's really cool how it works, I'll show you what, what I mean in a minute. How does radix sort work? Well, you first have to t look at the least significant digit of each number, and then you sort them based on that alone. Once you've done that, then you uh, sort them again based on the second uh, most significant digit, and then the third, and so on. And it, it actually works surprisingly well. Again, you'll see what we mean as we continue. First, consider this array I have here in front of me of seven numbers. 9, 179, 139, 38, 10, 5, 36. How do we sort that? Using radix sort, we'll sort it like this. Consider that we have a, a bunch of linked lists, lists here in front of us. We have 10 here. Each one will represent uh, a digit that each uh, significant digit can be. As you can see, each digit is somewhere between 0 and 9. We know that. And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to sort each number into one of these lists as uh, we uh, go along. By the way, if you don't know what a linked list or a queue is, uh, don't worry that it won't be too important unless you're actually trying to code this. Uh, for now, just assume that it's going to be a list that uh, attached to each of these. Now when we start, we want to find the most least significant digit, which will be in the ones column. To find that in uh, a co code a uh, algorithm, we would start by having a, a variable m equal to 10 and n equal to 1. You'll kind of see what this means as we continue. Uh, m sort of uh, uh, mods the number. Mod is a uh, term used in computer science programming to uh, say we find the remainder of it after dividing it by that number. And uh, n will be a variable that helps us find the number at that specific uh, column. Uh, and you'll see what we mean as we continue. Just for now, it'll be set to 1. So as we start, the first number we have is 9. How do we put that in the list? Well, 9 mod 10, that means the remainder of 9 divided by 10, which will, will be 9. And 9 divided by 1 will be 9. Therefore, we have to put 9 in the 9's list. Good. Let's continue. The next number is 179. Now, 179 mod 10 will be 9. And 9 divided by 1 will be 9. So we also put 179 in the 9's list. The next is 139. 139 mod 10 is 9. 9 divided by 1 is 9. We put it in the 9's list. Next we have th 38. If we have 38 mod 10, we would get 8. 8 divided by 1 will be 8, so we put it in the 8's list. 10. Now 10 mod 10 will be 0, because the remainder would be 0. 0 divided by 1 will be zero, so we have to put it in the zeros list. Five. Now five mod ten will be five, and five divided by one will be five, so we have to put it in the fives list. Okay, we're almost done. Thirty-six. Thirty-six mod ten will be six, and six divided by one will be six. Good. So we put it in the six column. So we have the, all these lists here in front of us. What do we do with them? Now that we're at the end of the array, we have to make a, replace the array with, these, with a new array uh, with sorted values. What sorted values do we have? Well, we uh, read them back into the array by looking at the, the very top uh, list and uh, uh, putting them in the array one by one uh, from the beginning to the end of that list. For example, the top value is 10 and that's the only one in that list, so we put 10 in first. 
and then we put in go down we get put in 5 then 36 and then 38 and then the ninth column we have three numbers there but we put them in one at a time in the order that they are already in the list so we would add 9 then 179 and then 139 and that's our new array now as you can see this list doesn't look like it's sorted right now but we're not done so now as we continue we are going to multiply m by 10 and multiply n by 10. What this means is that we, we are going to start modding each number by 100 which will give us a remainder of uh, uh, between 99 and uh, 0. But that's going to be a two digit number. We only want the second digit, not the first one. Uh, I mean not the number in the ones column, we want it in the tens column. So if we divide that number by 10 uh, and we would get the number we want if we convert it to an integer of course. So let's continue. The first number we have now in the list is 10. 10 mod 100 is 10 and 10 divided by 10 is 1. So we put it in the 1's column. The next number is 5. 5 mod 10 is 5. Uh, 5 divided by 10 is, z well, it's 0. Uh, so we have to put it in 0's column. 36 mod 100 is uh, 36. 36 mod 10 will be, uh, I mean, 36 divided by 10 will be 3. 38 mod 100 will be 38. 38 divided by 10 will be 3. 9 mod 10, 100 will be 9. 9 divided by 10 will be 0. So we put in the zeros column. 179. 179 mod 100 will be 79. 79 divided by 10 will be 9. 9. Uh, sorry, 7. Uh, th that's a mistake there, my, my apologies. Uh, 139 is the last one we have. 139 mo mod 100 will be 39. 39 divided by 10 will be 9. And so we put that also, uh, also in the thirds uh, column. So now we have these new lists here in front of us, again sorted in this manner. We have to put these back into the array now. And we do it in the same method as we did before. We put 5 first, 9, 10, 36, 38, 139, and 179. Good. Now if we look at the list right now, it happens to be in order, but no, we're not done. We have to keep going until we have uh, reached the maximum uh, integer value, which in this case is the 100s column. So we have to sort all of these by the 100s column. To do that, we multiply m and n by 10. And we continue the same way we did before. We put in 5 first, 5 mod 100 is 1,000 is 5. 5 divided by 100 is 0. And I'm not even going to explain the rest because by this point you know what we're doing. So now we have uh, 139 and 179 left. Those will be the only ones that don't go in the zeros column. Uh, because if you divide them by 1,000, uh, mod them by 1,000 and divide them by 100, you would get 1. So let's do that. Good, now we have to put them back in the array. How do we do that? By the same way we've, we've done it before, by putting them in one at a time in the order that they are in right now. So we put in 5, 9, 10, 36, 38, then we put in 139 and 179. Good, now we are done. And the sort array we have here in front of us is complete. As you might have noticed, the mod value m and the divisor value n will go as big as the number of digits inside the array. In other words, the it will increase one digit each time at, until the array is sorted, like I've explained to you. This, in this example, the significant digits increase each time. Now, I would hope that if you are watching this video, and if you've understood it up to this point, you would know what significant digit means. But just in case, the least significant digit when you start is in the ones column, and that would be on the rightmost side of the, your number. And the second least significant digit, which is in the tens column, would be the next one over. And the 
in this case it would be in the hundreds column would be the most significant digit anyway thanks for watching that is how rate sort works uh, I hope this has been useful for you and I wish you all well in your computer science and mathematical adventures